Howdy everyone, we're Sarcy here, and today we'll be looking at 7th Sector on Nintendo Switch. So you know how every now and then a game comes along that just has a unique idea that you don't exactly see a lot of, if ever? Well, 7th Sector feels like one of those games. It starts off slowly zooming out of a static ETV with some weird figure on it, only for you to actually assume control of said weird figure. From there, you can grab either side of the TV and convert yourself into an electrical currency that can flow along the lines of wires. But it doesn't just stop there as there are multiple characters you'll play as throughout the game. You'll start off by going from wire to wire and messing with various electronical devices in order to further progress while occasionally changing characters which will mix up the kinds of puzzles you'll encounter. The electronical devices will act as sorts of puzzles like equally overloading fans distributing the exact amount of voltage to a switch through various different mathematical puzzles, matching shapes on a screen, things like that. While the other characters will have their own sorts of challenges, some even involving combat. All the while along your travels you'll be getting a view of many things happening in the background of the futuristic steampunk setting that the game features. There are four different endings you can earn based on what you did throughout the game. So this game is one of the most interesting and somewhat difficult puzzle games I've played and it really puts you to the test. You'll need patience between using trial and error, using mathematics, being observant of your environment, and in some cases I even had to resort to just guessing until I got the puzzle right. One thing I'll say is that this is a good game for group effort as I had my fiance who is a lot better at puzzles play through this with me and we took turns doing the puzzles when one of us couldn't figure it out. Through all this, it was quite obvious that a lot of work went into it, not only designing the puzzles, but the overall game as well. The different environments are gorgeous for a Unity game, going together very well with the soundtrack and sounds throughout the game, and the puzzles are very well crafted as well, so I can very much see how this game won multiple awards. But that's about all there is to say about this, so if you want this game yourself, it is available on the eShop for $20, but it's on sale right now for 17 bucks at the time of this video. I'd like to thank sometimes you for sending me the review key. This is Warsarcy on the Game Clips channel and I'm out.